Hello everyone, welcome back to another model review. Today I will be reviewing the American Airlines Bombardier CRJ700ER. Uh, this is a re-release by Gemini 200. Starting off with the box, uh, here's what the front of the box looks like, you already saw it just a second ago. Uh, we have the Gemini 200 logo in the top left corner, and in the middle of that, the American Airlines logo, the clip art of the CRJ700. And down here at the bottom, we have Bombardier CRJ700 in gold, 1 to 200 scale die cast model aircraft, and the item number, which is Golf 2 Alpha Alpha Lima 1020. Here's what the back looks like. It's not, not too different besides the clip art being gone and everything. Uh, Gemini 200 in top left, as real as it gets. Uh, you can pause the video to read the text. You have like highly collectible model, superior quality down in the middle, middle left. And on the middle right, you have social medias and the new aircraft being added monthly. And we have the American Airlines license, 2021 Gemini Jets, which this is a, a February 2022 release don't know why like even I got a, had a January release and that didn't and that come in 2021 as well um, top uh, right bottom corner we have made in China and gold on the left corner of the box we have Gemini 200 in the top left on the bottom of that is the one here in scale die cast model and the item number and top right is the clip art of the CRJ 700 and Bombardier CRJ 700 in the bottom right corner the right side of the box is exactly the same. Um, you can pause right now. It's this exact same thing as left. Here at the bottom, we have a Gemini 200 logo and the little silver button that clips the box together. And at the top on the left, we have a Gemini 200 logo, adult collectible model in the middle, um, on a, on suitable for children under 14 years of age, and a barcode with the item number on it, say you're in a, a store looking at it. I got this off a website, so I didn't use it. Getting to the box, when you first open the box, the flap will open up. There's nothing on the flap. And then covering up the aircraft is polystyrene. And here we have the Gemini Jets tripod stand. And a little look at the horizontal stabilizers. Taking off the first layer of polystyrene, we see the aircraft covered in a couple layers of plastic. Uh, there's the tripod stand again. And now let's get into the aircraft. Looking now, looking at the model, I'm going to get first get into a few things about the aircraft. Uh, this aircraft is a Matushevi uh, Bombardier CRJ700ER. Um, for some reason, this is labeled as, on the box, it was labeled as a CRJ700, not a CRJ700ER, is labeled when I bought it. So this is proves it's a re-release from when it was released in 2016, I believe. Um, it's a beautiful aircraft. And this, the aircraft in real life was built in May of 2004 and is currently uh, 17 years old. Now getting to a detailed side view of the aircraft, this is the left side and I'm gonna go straight to the cockpit and then over to my right. On the cockpit, you can see the nose landing gear and just below the cockpit windows, which are colored in black, we have operated by SkyWest and we see several antennas above. And then we also have the little Registration, November 706, Sierra Kilo. Just has 706 on it, you might not be able to see. Uh, moving beyond the L1 door, which has a little one world sticker next to it. Uh, we have two antennas above the beacon light, which is restricted to all Gemini 200 aircraft and some 1 to 400 aircraft, mainly wide bodies. And the American Eagle logo. Here's the wings, we have the uh, winglets, the aft exit door, uh, the country of registration, which is America, obviously American Eagle, and the registration, November 706, Sierra Kilo. And then the en uh, engine one. And here we have a good view of the vertical stabilizer, the EPU, and the horizontal stabilizers. Moving on to the right side of the aircraft, it's pretty much the exact same thing. The arrow and door does not have a one world sticker, um, still operated by SkyWest. And otherwise, that's it. It's pretty much the same thing as the other side. You can pause right now or just uh, go back a few seconds to the left side. Moving on to the front of the aircraft, the nose, we have a good view of the nose landing gear. And you might not be able to see that little tiny, tiny, tiny landing light gem. 
and we also have a good view of the main landing gears and the wings as well as the winglets the vertical stabilizer the horizontal stabilizers a bit of the antenna and a little bit of the emergency exit up above the cockpit and the two engines now the back of the aircraft is pretty much the same thing we have a great view of the slats the flaps on the wings the main landing gears the horizontal the horizontal and vertical stabilizers the auxiliary power unit apu and the back of the engines you can pause for a better view now moving on to a bird's eye view of the aircraft here we have a good view of the wings and we have the little exit footsteps there for when people are rushing at the aircraft and say a belly landing or a water land ditching and the horizontal stabilizers the engines the winglets and we have all kinds of little markings on the wings and one right here for the Wi-Fi, I believe. No, there's no Wi-Fi. And you have the beacon light, getting a better view of the antennas. The L1 door is giant, rather than the R1. And we have little cockpit exit, emergency exit, cockpit windows, and the nose. Now we have a belly view of the aircraft. I'm gonna go straight to the front here. We have the nose landing gear, uh, the little door where, where the nose landing gear goes when gear goes up, when the plane is in the air. Little markings. Uh, we have where the stand goes, the main landing gear, the slats on the flings, the winglet. We have the slats, the winglet. And under view the engines the APU hauser or door, a little tail strike box right there, horizontal stabilizer and the vertical stabilizer. Before I end the video, I would like to go over a few things. Uh, this is a amazing model by Gemini Jets or Gemini 200. Uh, the stand is not crooked. If you've gone through my other videos, uh, you've known that some of my stands are crooked and that really affects like how much I've paid for the model, and that shouldn't happen. There's nothing broken on this model. I've n felt nothing loose. It's a it's amazing how small it is. It's just about the size of my hand. Um. And the landing gear doesn't. It's it does roll. And it is not detachable because it's a CRJ. Gemini hasn't done anything for the CRJ uh, gears yet. And it's just amazing. And this is a re-release, just also putting that out. And the box still says 2021, when this is a February 2022 release. And I and I ordered this off of Panda Fox Models, Panda Fox Toys. And uh, I didn't pre-order it, but I ordered it right after it came out. And for those who want an update of my uh, airport that I'm building, I'm working on it. You can stay till the end, uh, for the, to the very end of the video in just a second. Anyways, for those leaving right now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. So for those viewers who have been keeping up with my videos, you know, from my um, Alaska Airlines Airbus A320 review, the flight pipe review, that I have been working on a Laredo airport, or at least I was planning to, and I just started taping out what it would look like. And I got tons of excess tape because I just moved. I still got a few boxes to unpack. Um, yeah, otherwise, so this is going to be the main terminal. There's three gates, just three gates at Loreto. And where my nightstand is sitting, that's where the general aviation is. Runway 16 and runway 34. And this is just a grassy area. Um, it's going to be a huge airport. It's 42 by 90 inches. And I can't get all the frame in. On this painting, I'm going to put it up above my wall. So it's out of the way. And I think I'm going to level, once I do get an MDF board, when I paint it, and I'm going to level it with these nine, I have two nightstands. I don't need it just because I got a new bed. There's tons of storage. I don't need the nightstands. 
Um, and yeah, I'm really excited for this. And I'll be posting a update in the coming weeks. Just a couple weeks now, I believe. And I'll record it right after this. And thank you for watching. And the main reason why I did buy this model was so I could have it at Loretto updates. And I was excited to see it. And I'm kind of glad I didn't buy the Sky West CRJ700. Because that would have been, uh, like, it's not, it, the SkyWest, never seen a SkyWest CRJ-7 come to Loretto. Because only American flies SkyWest aircraft down here. And, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching.